Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up your own NAT instance in the cloud. In this tutorial series, we'll go over setting up a NAT instance, as well as another instance inside of a private subnet that will use the NAT router to connect to the public internet. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to subnets, and we're going to create a new private subnet. Now this private subnet, uh, the CIDR block configuration, could be different depending on the network you've created for yourself. For myself, I'm going to use 172.30.3.0/24, and again, this could be different depending on your network. And we'll go ahead and create that subnet. And the next thing we're going to need to do is go to the EC2 servers, and we're going to launch a new NAT instance. Now, this NAT instance we're going to launch from a community AMI. This community AMI already has the network address translations already built into it and it's um, approved by Amazon. So we'll go ahead and launch this server. A micro is going to be fine. We're going to make sure it's in one of our public subnets and that the auto assign public IP is enabled. The storage is fine and we'll tag this server as NAT. And I've already created an inbound and outbound all traffic security group, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to go ahead and launch the server. So now that that server is going to be launching, um, the next thing we need to do is we need to launch another instance inside of our private subnet. Now, this instance initially won't have access to the internet, but once we configure a couple more settings, once our NAT server is um, online, this server will now have access to the public internet. So we're going to select the private subnet that we created earlier, and we'll notice that the auto assign public IP is disabled here, so it won't have a public IP address. And we're going to name this private subnet. Our security group, again, is just going to be wide open. We can go ahead and launch our server. Great. So once your NAT server is online, the one configuration you'll need to do is change your source in your desk. So we're going to go to networking, change source desk, and we're going to disable it. And basically what this says is this says any uh, internet that comes in through here is allowed to go out. So now if we go to our VPC, we're going to need to create a new routing table. And we can see that our public routing table has routes um, out to the internet gateway. And this is how all your servers connect to the internet. But for us, we're going to need to create a new private routing table. And this routing table is going to route through the NAT router. So once that's created, we can edit the routes. And we can add a new route. And our target here is just going to be our NAT instance. And you can see it already shows up in the list. And we can click Save. And we can see that the status is active. So if you have a status of black hole, that means something is configured wrong. And now we need to edit our subnet associations, and we need to associate our private subnet with this private routes. Now that that has been saved, we can log into our NAT router. Remember, we don't have access to our private subnet unless we log in through our NAT router because we don't have any sort of VPN installed right now. So if we log into our NAT router, I've already pasted my AWS Tutorial Series key pair on this NAT router, so I can use this key pair to log into the private subnet server. And so we'll log in as Ubuntu because it was an Ubuntu server that we created. And all we're going to do is copy the private IP because we're in the private network in the same uh, zone. And if we just run an app get update, we can see that we have access to the internet and we can curl yahoo.com and see that we can reach out. So that concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.